I owe everything to old George. He went halvesies on a timeshare, even though he knew it was a money pit. Please help him, O oh Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, I love him. Please watch over him tonight. He's the best boss I've ever had. God, one time, I won a bottle of vodka on a roulette game from him, and I got to go home for the day and drink it. Please help him, God. Please, God, something's the matter with Mr. Bailey. Please bring Mr. Bailey back. Hello, Fred. Trouble? Well, Michael, looks like we'll have to send someone down. A lot of people asking for help for a man named George Bailey. What about Clarence? Well, he hasn't even got his wings yet, and he's got the IQ of a rabbit. But the faith of a child, Fred. Send for Clarence. You sent for me, sir? A man on Earth needs our help, Clarence. He's thinking seriously about throwing away God's greatest gift, his life. You see, he's lost his faith in craft beer. He's a brewer, Clarence. Let us show you just the most important moments in his life to help you get acquainted. Sir, if I pull this off, do you think maybe I'll be able to get my wings? I've been waiting 200 years. If you should do a good job with George Bailey, Clarence, you shall get your wings. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. George's story is one of near success, Clarence. So long, Georgie. See you, George. He was just the guitarist at the brewery pub when this all began. Young George was all set on going to his music college. Telegram. Telegram for George Bailey from the pub. Oh, geez, they're just down the street. Mr. George Bailey, Campbellford, Ontario. Brewery owner just died and we need you to take over. Stop. Looks like you're not going to music college. Stop. Please pick up peanuts for the pub. Stop. Oh, geez. But it wasn't all bad for George. That very evening, when he walked back into the pub, he met Mary, an organic bog Myrtle salesperson. Hmm. The love of his life. Hello. It, I was thinking that, that maybe you and I should, should get married. Sure, why not? One thousand two hundred and eighty five. One thousand two hundred and eighty six. Just what we need. Just think of it, Mary. A honeymoon in glorious Cleveland. And the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, too. Plus, we'll be home just in time for Christmas. Hey boss. How's it going, eh? Are you sure this plan of yours is really going to work? Yeah, if we get caught, Dad's going to kick us out. We're going to have to live in the van, eh? It'll work. It'll work. Just get in there, you nincompoops. Hello, sirs. What can I get for you? Well, you see, we found a mouse and a bottle of beer that we bought at this here brewery. We're going to need some compensation, eh? Yeah, it's in the Canadian Criminal Code, and there's precedent, you see. What exactly is it that you want? 1,286 dollars. And two tickets to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I better make a call. Hello? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Where are 
you going, George? Looks like you've had another rough day, George, but I think maybe I can help you. Do you know who I am, Mr. Bailey? Yeah, I know who you are. You're A.B. Malbat, the biggest brewer in the country, among other things. Yeah, you've been snooping around here for a couple of months there, haven't you? Snooping? No, 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 not snooping. Exploring a potential investment. I'll tell you what, Mr. Bailey, if you want to be rid of all your craft beer troubles before the day even ends, I'm willing to pay you 50 cents on the dollar for your brewery in cash. Well, that's a lot of cash. Yeah, it's a lot of tickets to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, too. No, no wait, 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 wait a minute. It, it, it's, it's, it's not just my brewery, it's, it's, it's everyone's brewery. It's, it's Gord's brewery, it's Ray's brewery. It's, everyone's a part of it. I'm sorry. Well, you're going to drown in it, Mr. Bailey. Mark my words, drown. You're going to drown in it. Drown in it. Drown in it. Stupid mobile, stupid telegrams, stupid mice. Maybe it'll be as good as Cleveland. Holy smoke! <laughs> what the, what, why, why'd you jump into the river? George, if I didn't jump in, you would have. Why are you wearing a nightshirt? This is what I died in. My heart just gave out one night. What do you mean, died in? George, I'm your guardian angel. Guardian angel? Well, you, you, you don't even have any wings. I haven't earned my wings yet. I was sent down here to help you. You'd lost your faith in craft beer? If I can show you the way, then I'll earn my wings. Craft beer, I would... I wish craft beer was never been born. And you were going to kill yourself over it? You want to see a world where craft beer was never born? Come with me. You're the angel. What in the world? Oh no. Well, what happened? George, in a world without craft beer, in a world where you never took over the brewery, A.B. Molbach came up here and bought everything, including the bakery. The whole town? Even the theater. Who'd want to see a movie about a fat cowboy anyway? Yes, George, even the theater. The chocolate factory, the cheese factory. You don't even want to see what happened to the brewery. A church? A church? The brewery's still a church? What kind of terrible world do we live in? It looks like you could use a beer. Let's head to the pub. Oh, Martin. Can I get a pumpkin peach porter, please? Pumpkin what? We serve Malbat ice for men that want to get drunk, no matter what the taste. And tell me this, where do you get off calling me Martin? I don't know you from a hole in the ground. Is there a problem here, fella? 
Mary, Mary, it's me, George. Mary, don't you know me? George. Mary was an organic bog myrtle salesperson. Without craft beer, there's no need for organic bog myrtle. At least she got a job as a bouncer. These guys are really creeping me out, Martin. That's it, you two pixies are out of here. Out the door, or through the window. George, this is the world without craft beer. I want it back. I want it all back. I, 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 I want craft beer back. Well, it looks like my job here is done. Well, well that was a little anticlimactic. Hello, Doors Bakery. Merry Christmas, Aaron Theater. Oh, good God. Hello, Brewery. Mary, Mary, you're not a bouncer anymore. Sure I am, George. We don't have a lot of money. And I have a lot of jobs to do. Hey, Martin. Can I get a pumpkin peach porter? Sure thing, boss. Just give me a second, would you? Porter up. Look, mister. Every time the bell rings, an angel gets wings. Yeah, that's right. That's right, little bar girl. Bobby, don't you know me? Yes. The smokier the better for me.